Hi everyone, Savannah Tree Foundation Field Manager Jake Henry here and today I'm looking at a particular tree species and an associated disease with it as well. Uh, you may have seen us talking about this in the news recently. This is a sugarberry or Celtis levigata. Uh, now this gets confused with the hackberry because um, this one is also called a southern hackberry. Those are actually two different species. Uh, the hackberry is Celtis occidentalis uh, and this is Celtis levigata. So just a technicality, they're kind of easy to confuse, but this one's more common here because uh, we're pretty far on the southern end of the hackberries range. So you don't see those as much down here. Uh, now, we'll talk a little bit about the characteristics of the sugarberry, but then we'll get into why I'm talking about this tree in particular today. So this is a deciduous tree species we have here. It's a native tree species. Um, smaller leaves are kind of hard to see. It's a, this is a pretty good tr sized tree. Um, I guess sort of like an elm leaf, that might be a good comparison, um, but really one of the great ways to identify this tree is its bark. Um, so you'll see in some places it's pretty smooth, kind of a light grayish, uh, and then in a lot of areas you'll just see these sort of little kind of knobby pieces of bark. Um, these are so unique and so iconic to this tree. Uh, you know, lots of trees have pretty consistent bark structure but these have just these strange little kind of bark nodules all over them. And this is pretty consistent. You know, as you go higher up, you see a little bit less of them. It's kind of hard to see up there, but especially here on the lower parts of the tree, you can see a lot of these little knobby pieces of bark. So this is a really great way to identify it. Now, uh, this is actually a pretty healthy looking specimen. Um, however, you can see up there, this section of branch is starting to thin a little bit and that's one of the characteristics of a disease that's currently affecting sugarberries here in the southeast really. Um, now it's not specific to urban areas, this actually does apply to natural areas as well, um, but we're seeing this happen a lot uh, here in Savannah. You can see a little bit more thinning there, you can really see through the canopy a lot more than you can there where the branches are much healthier. So what happens is these, you see some thinning on the tips of the branches and eventually it defoliates and then the tree dies. Um, and this is happening because of a, an unknown disease. It was first reported in 2009 uh, and I believe that was in South Carolina and it was in Columbia, South Carolina, yes. And the disease has progressed since then. Um, we've seen pretty extensive decline decline and death of sugarberries here in Savannah and there's really uh, no known cause right now you know there's a couple potential agents that they think uh, might be causing it and the USDA and UGA are currently working on identifying the culprit behind this disease but as of right now it hasn't been identified and subsequently there's really no treatment for it since we don't know how to handle it now uh, this is a real shame. Sugarberries are probably not the most popular tree. They're not the most iconic species that we have here in the southeast, you know, compared to our big beautiful live oaks. Um, uh, but it's still an important native tree species. They provide food for wildlife, habitat for wildlife. Um, they're really just such an important tree species here. And it's uh, such a shame to see them being lost to a disease that's relatively unknown and difficult to manage. So. Uh, this is another tree species that we really just want to take some time to appreciate as one of our natives here in Savannah. So thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Take care.